When I used to build plastic injection molds, I worked for a company that was a captive shop, which meant we built and ran the molds in-house for our product line and not for outside customers. One of the molds that we built and ran was a six cavity tool that performed a process that we call over molding, which essentially means the component is inserted into the mold, then the mold closes and the plastic fills around or over the component. In this case, we are over molding a gold plated copper substrate for the electronics industry. This mold was extremely detailed and expensive to build. The main core and cavity inserts probably had over 200 hours into them. So one day I came into work and this mold was sitting on the maintenance bench all closed up with a tag on it that said, mold needs repaired. I opened up the mold and I started to inspect it and that's when I saw that all six cavities of the main inserts were absolutely destroyed. I immediately went to talk to our newly hired molding department supervisor to ask him what happened. His response was, I don't know what happened. It just broke when they tried to set it up and run it. Maybe someone didn't assemble it correctly after the last maintenance. I wasn't buying his answer, but instead of sitting there and trying to drag the truth out of him, I went back to the mold maintenance bench to try and diagnose what happened. After looking at it for a bit, I finally took a piece of copper substrate and I laid it in the mold as if it would if the mold was running in the press, and it became very obvious what happened. Someone loaded the copper substrate in the mold backwards, so when the mold closed, it smashed the copper substrate in the tool, causing it to destroy the part detail of the core and cavity inserts, causing thousands of dollars in damage. I knew that's what happened because when the substrate is installed the right way, it has five little prongs on it that lay in a series of slots in the mold insert. And in this case, when you flip the substrate over so that it was backwards, you could see an imprint of those prongs where they smashed into the mold on the wrong side because there were no slots to accept it like there should be. I knew someone made a big mistake and I was pretty sure the molding supervisor knew what happened and he was hiding it, but I didn't know for sure. At the time I was a pretty young mold maker, so I brought my boss over and I just showed him what I found. I didn't tell him that the molding supervisor said he didn't know what happened because I knew it would only cause trouble and I didn't want to be in the middle of it. It wasn't my job to assign blame or point fingers, so I didn't. I knew my boss would figure out what happened on his own after what I showed him, so I left it alone. I've taken this approach to stay out of shop politics in many situations, and as a young machinist or toolmaker, it helped me a lot. Stirring the pot around the shop rarely pays off, especially when you're young. The way I saw it, my job was simple. Build and maintain injection molds, learn as much as possible, and try to improve processes along the way. Anything else was an unnecessary distraction, and figuring out how to solve problems instead of focusing on the blame game is going to pay off in the long run. We ended up having to disassemble the entire mold, send the inserts out to be micro-welded in the areas that were broken, and then remachine and EDM the part detail back into spec. Eventually my boss figured out who did it and a solidified process was put into place to make sure it never happened again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys wanna take your career to the next level or get started learning a new career, visit our free online CNC Academy for tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.